Hello, everyone. I am the Catholic Bible Geek, and welcome back to the channel. Yeah, so what did I want to talk about? I wanted to talk about, I wanted to do a check-in with Advent. If you remember, I did a, uh, I did part of one of these live streams. I did a, a talk about Advent, and I think I re-released it as its own video or something like that. And I did that for the first Sunday of Advent a few weeks ago. We just had Gaudete Sunday this past Sunday, which was wonderful. I hope those of you who are Catholic were able to make it to a mass. It was, I went to a beautiful mass. I was visiting Sound Engraver down in, um, you know, where she lives. So I, I didn't, you know, it's too far to go to my home church, my home parish. But I, so I, I took a chance. I went to this different parish. I, I'd been to another parish one other time when I went to visit her. And I wasn't quite happy with that one. It was, um, I mean, it was fine, but it just wasn't up to my speed. It was a little modern and the, and the building was a little kind of, you know, uh, round robin seating. And I, it just wasn't for me. But this uh, this other mass I went to, this other parish was wonderful. It was actually part of a, a Christian school, a Catholic school there. And uh, oh, it was beautiful. The music was beautiful. There was this young girl who was singing all of the music and she had this angelic young voice and they had this huge pipe organ playing it. And of course they sing um, uh, O Come, O Come, Emmanuel. You know, that's a traditional song sung during Gaudete Sunday. And it was uh, it was just beautiful. It was a really wonderful service. So hopefully people were able to go to that because of course Gaudete Sunday that we just uh, celebrated here at the time I'm making this video is that little moment within the penitent season of Advent to to just experience the joy, you know, to, to you know, we, 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 Advent is a time for us to experience our longing for Christ and our need for Christ. Looking forward to Christmas Day, the beginning of the Christmas season, when we can really celebrate the coming of Christ. But Gaudete Sunday is just a little moment in the, in the middle of that or in the midst of that penitent season, just to, to realize the joy that you are going to be celebrating. And, and that's, uh, it was great. It was really nice, really, really wonderful. I was able to go back and, um, went over to Soundgraver's place. We lit the, uh, lit the Advent candle with the pink candle there and everything. So it's very cool, uh, in the Advent wreath. What, what I wanted to talk about though, I, originally my intent for these Advent videos was to do a video each and every Sunday that kind of got away from me, obviously, but I did just want to talk about something here before we get to actual Christmas day. And I want to carry this, this seat, this season, uh, this series of videos over throughout the Christmas season after the 25th, because with the liturgical camp calendar, you know, started by the Catholic church, but certainly it's celebrated like this with the Anglican church, uh, the Lutheran church, uh, Presbyterian, certain Presbyterians do it. And other, uh, you know, certain Protestant denominations carry on this liturgical season idea is that is that the 25th of December is the start of the Christmas season. You know, 12 days of Christmas. I know I have a lot of Protestant viewers, you know, and you guys have heard the Christmas carol, 12 days of Christmas. Well, that's because in the liturgical season, you do celebrate Christmas for 12 days. And that goes on through the, the Feast of the Innocents, the Feast of St. Stephen's, you know, the Feast of Saint, uh, John the Baptist and all this kind of stuff. And it, it goes on to the 12th day of Christmas. And that's where the idea of Twelfth Night comes from. You know, Twelfth Night is the, the final night of Christmas. And traditionally, that's where a huge party was. You know, these 12 days of Christmas, in our past, you know, when, when we had a culture that really did follow this liturgical season, it was a wonderful Advent was a time, you know, now, you know, we talked about it last video. Now our culture just starts celebrating Christmas. I mean, really November 1st at this point, you know, if not before, but, uh, but the culturally really, uh, the culture really did follow this liturgical season where this point was Advent where let's really focus on our need for Christ. And it was, you know, there was excitement drumming up for Christmas, of course, but then that that period of the 25th through January 7th was just let loose. And that was the crazy big celebration of Christmas. Families gathered together, you know, especially in historical times that wouldn't see each other very often uh, throughout the year. Otherwise, birthdays were celebrated during that that uh, 12 days, even if they were from other points of the uh, year. A lot of weddings were held, especially on Twelfth Night. That was a big night for weddings to be held because that was the point where all the family was gathered. For that kind of thing, it was just a really special twelve days of uh, of celebration. And if you're doing it liturgically, it's a celebration of Christ, a celebration of your family. So you can imagine all of the all of the joy and uh, and and you know, if you celebrate Christmas, even especially religiously, all of the religious joy that you can really take in and, and the together time with family. If you can imagine extending that for twelve days, that's the point of it. And that's the the point that I wanted to make with this video is that. A lot of a lot of people who do celebrate Advent, you know, certainly a lot of Catholics and and other denominations who do still celebrate it, will often talk about uh, which culture has lost this wonderful season of Advent. This this where we can really focus on our need for Christ. You know, you can't really focus on 
the joy of Christ until you recognize your need for him. In fact, we're going to talk about that tonight in the Lion, Witch, and the Wardrobe with Edmund and his continued story arc, you know, and that's something we'll point out. But you you really can't can't enjoy that and can't fully conceive of what it is to have Christ and what your response to, to live in holiness should be to Christ without really truly conceiving of your need for him. And it's nice to have a, a liturgical season, you know, every year to, to focus on that. So our culture misses out on that by missing out on Advent. But I'd like to add to that, I think we miss out on the true celebration of Christmas by by throwing all of the Christmas parties and everything early, right up to the point where December 25th, and let's just face it, I mean, you know, if you're like most households, mine growing up, I mean, once you open the presents Christmas morning, Christmas is just basically, it's over. For all intents and purposes, it's over. A Christmas vacation might still go a while, but Christmas is over. It's... um. I know my mother, if she had her way, she'd be taking down decorations and cleaning house, you know, the, the morning of as soon as we, you know, un, uh, open the presents or whatever. And, you know, some people may, oh, it's Christmas night. You still go and have a meal or whatever. OK, well, whatever. But at least after that day, it's over. I mean, Christmas is officially over. And you might say, well, rather than have 12 days from the 25th, we've had ever since November 1st to be celebrating Christmas in a way. But there's still all the stress. There's still all the stress of getting things together for Christmas, getting things together fiscally for the end of the year, uh, worrying about family gatherings, this, 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 and that. If our culture still celebrated Christmas as the season of Advent up until these 12 days of Christmas, then I think in missing out on that, we've forgotten and, and we kind of have to make ourselves realize what it means just to settle into the joy of Christmas, to settle into that joy joy of Christ. And 12 long days, that's just what you celebrate. And that's, um, that, that is what, uh, I think we miss out when not celebrating the season of Christmas, resting in Christ, resting in that true joy. Our, our culture is so fast paced and, and, uh, that's just the nature of it. You know, you can't get away from that to survive in today's world. You have to be fast paced and you have to kind of, uh, live with that. But it is a shame that culturally we've, we've missed out on that. And I think that if we try a little bit, we can't go back to the way it was celebrated in, in historical times because our culture is just different now. But we can try. And I know I'm trying each year, trying a little bit more and more because it's new to me as a, as a relatively new Catholic. Only a hand, you know, what, five years, maybe five years now, four years. I don't know. Uh, in Catholicism. So it's it's a new thing to me, and each year I'm trying a little bit more and trying to trying to focus on Advent a little bit more. You know, you can't, you know, it's Christmas season. That's what our culture says, and I'm fully embracing that and listening to the Christmas music, and Alyssa's all excited, and that's wonderful. Uh, but, you know, I try to focus on the penitent season a little bit and the need for Christ a little bit more each year. And then when Christmas Day comes, no, it's still Christmas season. Um, I do see Daniel Heron saying, leaving the, yeah, a lot of people leave the tree up until Candlemas in, in February, and uh, that, that's a common thing, which I tend to do as well. I have done that in the past as well. Uh, but it's staying up at least for all 12 days of Christmas, at least. And that's, um, you know, that's the season. That's the Christmas season. And it's, it's, you think about how great Christmas is when you've got that, uh, that little boost and you can, you want to hold on to that feeling, right? You want to hold on to that warmth and hold on to that magic to last you out through throughout the year. Well, how much easier it is to do that if you had 12 years, I mean, 12 days rather to really fully embrace it. And and then you you know you're you're rejuvenated for the rest of the year you know so it's it's a it's a wonderful idea and I think it's something that uh, as much as people talk about our need for the season of Advent we miss out and people should be talking more about our need for the real season of Christmas not just a night a morning a day but a season of Christmas we are cyclical people you know we live in a cyclical world in terms of seasons and, and night to day to night to day uh, you know morning to to noon to evening. Uh, fall to winter to spring to summer, our bodies have seasons. You know, we kind of we, we're, we're we're our spirit and body. You know, we move in a sort of a cyclical nature. Nature, and that's what the liturgical seasons are about to help us uh, go through these kinds of you know responses a, as we grow in uh, and the Holy Spirit and grow in holiness. And uh, so, yeah, it's something that we could we could do with uh, remembering a little bit more and trying to celebrate a little bit more. I think. 